بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is unit one the writing uh, lesson but before we do that let, let's revise our previous lesson the uh, speaking lesson of course the first question here the jobs described in the reading the flavorist and the pedicurist for the elephants and also the fashion for dolls do you find of them uh, any of them interesting or not of course this is according to your own preference then we studied this uh, table here this weird or unusual table for the unusual jobs the odor judger to smell bad smells coming from a person especially their, their armpits and their breath uh, golf ball diver cheese sprayer and gum buster so these are some unusual jobs and what do they entail and do you like it or not this is of course according to your uh, preference so these are today's objectives the writing objectives find elements of writing an essay through a picture complete a job title using giving information find information about the arborist job write which person is used in each paragraph again write each person uh, write which person is used uh, in each paragraph i you he or she and so on notice what each paragraph provides so in exercise a here it says read about some more unusual jobs and complete the job title so we'll be reading some of the definition of the entailment of some unusual job and then we'll be trying to come up with a title for the job work in pairs compare your ideas in class so the first one the second part of the uh, title is consultants to consult someone is to ask them for advice so he's a consultant but a consultant for what let's read the definition the people who advise construction companies and manufacturers on vibration and noise problems and suggest solutions again the people advise construction companies and manufacturers on what on vibration and noise problems so they consult them about vibration and noise problems and suggest some solutions so i think now you can uh, get the clues here to figure out what is the title of this job a consultant for what yes you can say noise consultants noise consultants construction companies and some manufacturers they can consult them about the vibrations of the earth and the uh, noise problems and give them solutions number two uh, authenticators to authenticate something is to check whether it's original or not is it authentic or not hence this name authenticators the people who differentiate between true or authentic and fake paintings so they work with paintings to check if the painting is original is authentic is true or is it a fake painting so I think this is an easy one yes that's correct you can say art or painting authenticators art authenticators or you can say painting authenticators of course they have really sharp eyes and they can uh, figure out whether the painting is authentic original or not next one also consultants the people who advise riders on how they can have the most comfortable horseback ride with the most suitable riding accessory again of course this is related to horse riding from the definition here the people who advise riders on how they have how on how they can have the most comfortable horseback ride with the most suitable riding accessory so if you if you are a horse rider and you want to ride your horse uh, comfortably using some accessories you go to this person and consult him for the correct accessory accessory so you can ride your horse uh, comfortably so consultants so what are they of course you can see it from the definition here riding consultants if you are a rider these are uh, riding consultants new words are often made up to label unusual jobs by combining 
uh, existing words. Again, new words are often made up. Sometimes we made up new words. Why? To label unusual jobs by combining ex existing words. For example, the cheese sprayer. Cheese sprayer from the previous lesson, we said uh, cheese uh, sprayer the person who spray cheese. So we took two words and combined them, and this is the uh, title of his job, cheese uh, sprayer, and also the odor judger, some person, uh, some people who to judge the uh, smell, the intensity of the smell of the odor coming from a man. So these are words made up to label some unusual jobs. Uh, also here, you can say noise consultant. Have you ever heard of a noise consultant? Of course not. So read the essay and find out the following. Read the essay. We'll be reading the essay and be answering these questions. What does an arborist do? What kind of qualifications does he need to have? Which personal characteristics should he have? What are his employment prospects? So we'll be reading the essay now and try to answer these questions correctly. So this is the article, the job of an arborist. You can tell from the picture that the arborist's job is related to, from the picture here, yes, it's related to uh, trees. What is he doing to the tree? We'll figure out that in the article. So let's listen together. The job of an arborist. Although my parents would like me to become a doctor or a lawyer, I am interested in a very different kind of job. I would like to be an arborist, a sort of doctor for trees. To become an arborist, it is essential that you have a related bachelor's degree, for example in forestry, as the more you know about trees the better you will be able to do what is expected of you. So from this part of the article, can you tell what is an arborist? Yes, as it mentions here, an arborist is a doctor for trees. The arborist is a doctor for trees. To become an arborist, it is essential that you have a related bachelor's degree, for example, in forestry, from the word forest, something related to trees. So what is an arborist? You can say he is a doctor for trees. As in the picture here, he is treating the Three. Let's continue with the article here. Arborists are hired by individuals or organizations to keep trees healthy and attractive. They fertilize, prune, plant, and cure trees. In other words, they are a kind of official tree carer. They are considered experts in their field. For this reason, they need to attend workshops and seminars throughout their career in order to keep up with developments. I think it's perfect for me. I am interested in working in nature and taking care of things. I like trees. I am patient, methodical, and hardworking. Finally, given current trends towards greener alternatives, I think there will be plenty of work for arborists in the future, so unemployment will not be a problem. So in the first paragraph, you can find a wonderful term here for uh, that can describe the arborist, that he is a tree carer. A tree carer. So we came up with uh, we came up with two words to come with one term. A tree carer is someone who takes care of trees. A tree carer. They are considered experts in their field. For this reason, they need to attend workshops and seminars. Of course, this is not an easy work throughout their career in order to keep up with the developments. I think it's perfect for me. Why does he think that? Because. Uh, he is, or as he says here, I am interested in working in nature and taking care of things. As we mentioned in previous lessons, uh, the best job for you is to find out what do you like, what is coming naturally to you. Because he said here, I'm interested in working in nature and taking care of things. That's why he became an arborist, or we can say that he is a tree Carer. So let's answer the questions again. What does an arborist do? What does an arborist do? This is an easy question, of course. What does an arborist do? 
An arborist is a kind of a official tree carer or tree doctor. He fertilizes, prunes, plants, and cures the trees. So again, an arborist is a kind of a official tree carer or the doctor for trees. He fertilizes, prunes, plants, and cures the trees. Number two, what kind of qualification does he does he need to have? Of course, not anyone can become an arborist or a tree carer. You have to have some qualifications. What are they? Again, what kind of qualifications does he need to have? You can look up the answer in the article. So let's check the answer together here. An arborist needs to have a related bachelor's degree, for example, in forestry and attend seminars and workshops through his career. So you have, you have to have a bachelor's degree uh, the, uh, in uh, forestry and you have to attend some seminars and some workshops. So it's not an easy task. Question three here, which personal characteristics should he have to be an arborist? What are the personal characteristics should an arborist have, as he mentioned in this article? Let's check the answer together. He should be patient, methodical, and hardworking. He should also be interested in working in nature and taking care of things. So many things here. He should be patient, methodical, and hardworking. Of course, you should be patient taking care of trees, uh, needs to, uh, you need to have a lot of patience and methodical and hard working because you'll be climbing trees all the time. You have to be a hard worker. And also, you should love to work outside. You should, to lo you should love to work outside and to take care of things. What are his employment prospects? Again, what are his employment prospects? You can find the answer, of course, in the article. Let's check the answer here together. His employment prospects are quite promising due to current trends and greener alternatives. So they are quite uh, promising due to uh, current trends and greener alternatives. What's your view as a reader? As a reader now, as, a, as we are reading, as a reader, what is your view as a reader? Are ideas and information presented clearly in the article? The ideas and the information, are they presented clearly in this article? Of course, this is according to your uh, understanding of the article. Yes, ideas and information are presented clearly. Everything, all the information is uh, clear. We know what an arborist, uh, arborist is. We know the qualification of an arborist and so on. Does the writer provide explanations, examples, or reasons when necessary? So, when is necessary in the article? Does the writer provide you with explanations, examples, or reasons so, you do, so that you don't get lost in the article? Does he support our, uh, explanations? Yes, he does. For example, a related bachelor's degree, for example, in forestry, as, uh, the, as the more you know about trees, the better you will be able to do what is expected of you. So, of course, he provides when necessary. Does the essay answer your questions about what an arborist is or does? So, this is, of course, according to your understanding. Again, does the essay answer your questions about what an arborist is or does? Do you have a full understanding what an arborist uh, does for a living, what does he do all the time, or what does the job entail? For me, yes, it does. You have to have a bachelor degree in forestry, you have to be patient, you have to love working outside, and you have to be a hard worker. So all of these are answered in the, uh, in the essay very clearly. Look at the essay again and write which person is used in each paragraph, I, you, he, or she, and so on. So look at the essay again and write which person is used in each paragraph, I, you, he, or she, and so on. Of course, we have four paragraphs. The first paragraph used the 
I, he's referring to himself. He said, I, this is the first paragraph. He used I. What about the second paragraph? Again, look at the essay again and write which person is used in each paragraph. I, you, he or she, and so on. The, so the first paragraph, we wrote I. What about the second one? Yes, you to mean someone. When he says you have to do this, you have to do that, he means someone, not you particularly. You as a reader. Number three, paragraph three. You can check the articles. You can check the article and read the paragraphs before you answer. Again, paragraph three. Which person is used here in paragraph three? Look at the paragraph. Okay, let's answer number three. Ad, uh, Arborist, they, they for the arborist. He used they, referring to the arborist. What about the fourth paragraph or paragraph number four? You can read it quickly. Let's see the answer together here. Again, it's I because he was talking about himself. Notice which paragraphs provide the writer's view and or opinion objective information and or view so this is the fourth question let's take it one by one which paragraphs paragraphs maybe more than one provide the writer's view and opinion which paragraph shows the writer's opinion or view about his uh, job can you guess the paragraphs here yes the writer's view and opinion are presented in paragraphs one and for the introduction and the conclusion. So his view and opinion are presented in paragraphs one and four. Objective information and view or view. Objective information and or view. Objective without him thinking that. So which paragraphs gives us an objective view about the, uh, the, the arborist? Let's check the answer here together. Objective information is presented in paragraphs two and three, or which we call it the body of the paragraph. Number five, are there any passive forms? What are they used for? Are there any passive forms in the article? And what are they used for? Let's see the answer here together. Passive forms are used to present objective impersonal information again passive forms of course they are are used to present objective or impersonal information number six how are ideas and facts connected provide examples from the text some facts and some ideas how are they connected and give some examples provide some examples from the text the conjunctions and linking words you can look at the text Let's see the answer here together. For example, although and in other words. So these are some linking words. Combined clauses and sentences. Again, combined clauses and sentences. Provide some examples here from the text. To become an arborist, it is essential that, given current trends toward greener alternatives, I think, and so on. Use of pronouns, I think you can see in the article lots of pronouns actually. So use of pronouns, and he said, I am interested, I would like to, you have a related, they fertilize, etc. So the pronouns, there are lots of use of pronouns in the uh, article. Exercise B here, write an essay about an unusual job you might like to have. Before you write, think about and or find on the internet a description for the job try to look for a description for the job the background you should have for this job what should you have your uh, qualities for this job a background you should have for this job personal characteristics that should uh, that would help you perform the job effectively personal personal you have to be patient and so on personal characteristics that would help you perform the, uh, in this job effectively. So uh, again, to write an essay about an unusual job you might like to have, 
But before you write, think about a job just to prepare you to writing the essay. Questions to help you decide. So these are some questions to help you decide about this job. What do you like doing? In your instinct, look in your instinct. What do you like doing? Do you like to stay at home? Do you like to go outside, etc.? What kind of places do you like? What kind of places do you like? Do you like spending more time inside or outside? Like the arborist said that he likes to spend his time outside. That's why he became an arborist. Which room place do you spend more time, uh, most, most of your time in at home? What are you good at? This is an important, questions, uh, important question. Always ask, what am I good at? And start from there. What would you like to develop or to learn? So use this chart to help you brainstorm and organize your information. This chart, write it, fill it up, and it will help you to brainstorm to come up with the uh, perfect job title for you. Job description, important background, the responsibilities in this job, and the uh, helpful characteristics that will help you in this job. Once you find all of this information, you will find your suitable job. And this is how you write the article, the job of A or an, and you write whatever job that you like. Although I'm good at, and everybody expects me to become a, I would like to be an or a. So you have to begin your, uh, your article by filling these gaps, and then you can continue the article by yourself. So here's the writing corner. When you write an opinion essay, an, opi an essay to give your opinion, note down what you know about the topic and collect information. Note down before you write an essay. Note, take notes about uh, uh, what you know about the topic and collect some information. Note down your personal views on the topic and express your feelings and opinions. So write your personal views, your personal opinion about this topic. This is a draft in the beginning still. Combine your views and feelings with the relevant information and organize each paragraph. So your opinion and information, combine them and try to uh, match them up. Combine your views and feelings with the relevant information and organize each paragraph. And remember that it is your essay and your voice needs to come through. Remember, this is your essay and this is your opinion. You have to make it deliver. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallahu bihamdik. Ashhadu ala lanta sagfirik wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.